Hello everyone, it's Kelly here. And today we are gonna be talking about the topic of creative writing. For those of you who haven't gotten to participate before, we just wanted to remind everyone that Mike Leo doesn't just do interactive music sessions, but he does creative writing groups as well. These are usually on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock and they're really engaging and fun sessions where Mike teaches us all different things about creative writing. Today, he's not gonna be able to do his normal session, so we can still learn about creative writing today and some different examples, um, but we wanted to let you know that next time he does this, that we'd really encourage you to check it out. So when we look at creative writing, um, we are thinking about writing that you, allows you to use your imagination. Um, to create events, scenes, and characters. And so we want to give you guys some examples of creative writing. So we're going to talk today about poetry, plays, movie and television scripts, fiction, songs, and speeches. So first let's talk about poetry. So poetry is where an author uses um, rhythm, patterns, and rhymes to express ideas and emotions. So we gave you guys a video that reviews shape poetry, which is where you write poetry in a shape that you're describing. So you guys will see here that I did my own shape poetry. And so I'll read you guys what I wrote. So I put a pointy top with three sides is this shape we see, except when it is turned upside down when driving down the road, we must yield. So you guys can see that I drew this poem in the shape of a triangle. And so we see that yield sign flipped upside down, right? When we are driving and we come up to an intersection where we need to yield. So this is an example of some shape poetry. Now we gave you guys um, information about plays next. And so this is where a story is acted out in front of an audience. We gave you guys a video um, that shows an example of an Aladdin play. Um, so this is another one that you guys might enjoy looking at. Next, let's talk about television and movie scripts. So these are the words that actors and actresses say in movies and television shows. And so we gave you guys a clip from Toy Story that I'm sure many of you will be familiar with when uh, Woody meets Buzz. So take a look at that. So next, let's talk about fiction. So this can include things like novels, novellas, short stories. And so this is something that is like a, a made up, um, a made up story that's not based upon actual events. And so we gave you guys an example of a short story video that you can take a look at. Now the next one is songs. So these are musical compositions of words and music. And so we all talk about how much we love music, right? We use music for enjoyment. Uh, we might use music for relaxation. Maybe to help us complete a chore we don't wanna do. Like when we've talked about laundry skills in the past. So songs are things that we hear a lot. And uh, so we gave you guys a song to listen to, um, one that I'm sure many of you are familiar with, the song Happy. So take a look at that. And then lastly, let's talk about speeches. So these are um, a communication and expression of thoughts before an audience. So a few months ago, we learned about Malala, who is a girl who won the Nobel Peace Prize and so we gave you guys her speech to listen to um, and she accepted the Nobel Peace Prize. So you guys can see that there are a variety of ways to creatively write, you know, and there's all kinds of ways to use your imagination and to create stories or shapes um, or all kinds of things. So let's talk a little bit about why creative writing is important. So first, it allows you to use your imagination. So it's really fun, right, to come up with different ideas, different scenarios, characters. Um, even just coming up with, you know, this shape poetry was kind of fun. Creative writing can help build your confidence. 
you know, as any of us learn a new skill, it's a, a great way that we can help ourselves to feel more confident in our abilities. Next, creative writing can help you to better express yourself. And so as you learn to write and communicate in different ways, it allows you to better communicate um, your wants and needs as well. It can help to improve your ability to empathize and support those around you. So as we continue to get to know ourselves better, it can help us to better be able to put ourselves in other people's shoes and understand them. It can also help to reduce stress when we use it as a coping skill. So, you know, like I, I mentioned listening to music, you know, focusing on songs. That's often something that we use for relaxation. But there's all kinds of other things too, you know. We talk a lot about drawing or coloring, but writing can be a great technique to use to calm down. And lastly, creative writing is fun. You know, it's fun to use our imagination, fun to create a work of art that we can share with others. So we provided you guys with a variety of worksheets today. And um, we wanted to remind you that these activities are, are most um, enjoyed when we can share it with other people. So we'd encourage you guys to share your works of art with those around you. Now, I did a couple of these too, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So first I did the food acrostic poem. So if you remember, an acrostic is where we take the letters of a word and we put it vertically, and then we use words and phrases to describe next to it. So you guys will see my favorite food is lobster. And so I put luxurious food, out of the sea, big claws, salty water, tasty tail, eager to eat, and red color. So that's how I describe lobster. So next, let's take a look at a special day. And so this is where we're told we could spend the day with anyone in history. Who is that person and what would you do with them? And so I decided it would be my grandpa. I would go for a hike with him so you guys can see. I drew a picture of us in the mountains. I said then we would go out for dinner and we watched some football because that was always one of his favorite things to do and I enjoyed watching football with him. And then lastly, I wanna show you guys the summer Mad Lib that I did. So you guys might get a kick out of this. So this is where we take, you know, random things, random verbs, nouns, adjectives, names, fit them into a silly story. So I'll read you my story. One day, Cora and Tress decided to slide while on their summer vacation. Cora grabbed a desk and hit the road. Cora thought they should jump, which Tress thought was very wild. It's summer vacation, we have to freeze, Cora exclaimed. While on their journey, Cora saw a zebra climbing a car and that scared Tress. Later, it was time for a snack, so Tress suggested they eat chicken wings and pizza and drink salad juice. Summertime is all about gorgeous experiences and Cora and Trust wanted to make the most of it. After a quick hunt in the Bering Sea, it was time to run. It had been another dazzling summer day. <laughs> so that is the summer Mad Lib that I made with Cora and Trust. <laughs> So we hope that you guys enjoy the activities we posted for you, that you guys find them fun, um, that creative writing might be a new skill that you want to learn more about, and we hope that you all have a great day.